what's up you guys um i just decided to last minute make a video about my micro needling experience that i had today um i'm starting this video already with a horrific face because obviously i already had the procedure done today so basically i just want to explain to you what happened in the procedure um how it's all supposed to work and I want to show you little updates on how my skin's looking and then a before and after from in the next couple of weeks okay so basically for what it does I've bought up a page online so that I can read to you and not get it wrong um, it says dermapen skin needling stimulates new collagen and encourages the skin to heal through tiny micro punctures resulting in an even more youthful complexion the Dermapen also increases lymphatic drainage and circulation, effectively treating stretch marks, wrinkles, pigmentation, and removing pimple scars. So basically, the main thing that I was concerned about was like acne scars. Um, and you can see all of the little fine red dots on my face are, um, they either were active pimples or were scars, and that's why they're so red now. Um, and that was the main thing that I was worried about. Marina has said that it will help a lot, so I'm really excited to see the difference. So in terms of the pain, I was really worried about that because I had to get like numbed, like anesthetic, and I was like, okay, this is a bit scary, but um, Marina explained everything to me and she said like it's just like a precaution, like basically feels like a tattoo, like you're just getting tattooed on your face, um, and it probably took like 20 minutes altogether. Basically, she drew my blood and then spun it in like this machine so that the red blood cells and the plasma and like platelets separated and then she used like the more clear stuff which is the plasma I think yeah and the platelets and that's what she used to like pour it on my skin and then use the derma pen to actually make the little holes in my skin so that it like sunk in if that makes sense um, and that probably took like 15-20 like minutes it didn't take very long and it was pretty like bearable like there were parts that were quite sore but because of the numbing most of the rest of it didn't hurt but where I have like active pimples or like a bit more like scarring she like went a bit harder so it hurt a little bit more but it was definitely bearable it wasn't worse than getting a tattoo like I have lots of tattoos so I'm kind of used to it I suppose and then after she had done that she told me that she was going to inject some parts of my face with the um, platelet rich plasma and I was a little bit scared about that because I have never had any injections in my face um, and I'm definitely not very keen on getting them so she gave me a little stress ball <laughs> and um, injected like a few spots in my face there's one spot right here which um bled quite a bit um but yeah she injected a few places and it actually felt felt like i was getting like filler and um yeah so that was a, a bit of a different experience but um that kind of and then it kind of felt like i got punched in the face a little bit um and then that subsided after like a couple of minutes and then immediately after, as I walked out of the appointment, um, it just felt like I had really, really bad sunburn. Like my face was really tight. I couldn't really smile properly. I still like can't really smile properly. Like my face kind of like looks like I got like filler. Like it's I don't really get any wrinkles, which is like kind of cool, but kind of also like I don't know. Don't really know how I feel about it. But so, as I walked out straight out of the appointment, I felt really sunburnt and it was um, just kind of like a bit uncomfortable. It wasn't painful or anything. Like I just was like, couldn't really move my mouth properly. So when I was talking, like I rang my mom and I was like talking on the phone. She's like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I just I can't really move my mouth properly. <laughs> um, so yeah, in terms of the pain, if I get really good results, then it definitely was worth it. But it didn't really hurt that much. I've definitely had like worse pains on me. So when I first had it, had it done, my face was really red. I'll insert some photos so you can see like before I got it done and after and like during the treatment and stuff. Okay guys, so I'm just about to get a vampire facial. I have the numbing on now. And I'm a little bit sick of it. I'm gonna be I 
didn't take my camera with me because I wasn't going to film it but I put something on my story asking if people wanted details and people said they wanted details so I just thought you know what I've been wanting to do YouTube videos for a while now so might as well do one that's useful and people are actually going to get something out of it. So anyway when I first left it was really red um, and now it's not quite as red. Um, this camera's alright but the camera on my phone is showing up way more red than it actually is in real life. Um, and to be honest, I would probably go to the shops looking like this. I don't really care that much. I mean, I go to the gym all the time with no makeup on. Like, people are seeing me, so, you know, it's pretty obvious that I've had something done to my face or like I'm sunburned, like I don't look like this all the time, so. Um, my face feels quite tight now. Um, but it just kind of, yeah, it just kind of feels like sunburn. Like, it doesn't really hurt when I move it, but it just feels a bit tight. So, she told me I can't wash my hair, which is great. Not allowed to go to the gym today, and she said, don't touch your face, and don't use any active products on it. So, I'll be following Marina's orders, and I will be keeping in touch with her to possibly get... Maybe a skin peel done, she said, in about five days um, when the skin, she said, will start to flake because the dead skin is coming off. So, I'll be checking in with daily skin updates to show you my progress. And then at the end of this video, I'll be talking about the whole process of micro needling. night after it's about seven hours later I've just jumped out of the shower and um, washed off the extra plasma um, something I forgot to mention to you guys earlier was um, that it, it did have like a bit of a smell so and obviously it was sitting on my skin so you don't want you want to if you're gonna have this appointment you want to make sure that you're going to be going straight home and you have nothing to do that day. Um, I actually just popped out to Coles and I realized that it was still on my face. And I don't think you could really see it. Like it was like just like a tiny bit of, it was almost like a bit shiny. But um, yeah, just try and make sure that you don't have anything to do for the rest of the day. And um, you'll be fine. So I just jumped in the shower and washed it off. It um, stopped hurting. Like it wasn't tender or anything like an hour to two hours after and um, now it just feels a little bit like tight but um, about four or five hours after I had it done it got like really itchy for like half an hour and I had to keep like going like to like try and like scratch it because I didn't want to touch my face. I washed off like the bits of like blood that was sitting on my face and yeah the marks aren't anywhere near as obvious now I think so check in with you guys in the morning and we'll see what it looks like hey guys how are you going it is day two or day one of the healing process um, my skin is feeling very dry and like a little bit like sandpaper um, some parts are very smooth already and there doesn't really seem to be too much dead skin but right around here where there was lots of scarring um, is still quite irritated and will take a few days to heal I think so that is the situation today. In terms of the redness, it has gone down quite a lot, as you can see from yesterday, which is good. Okay, you guys, it's been exactly 48 hours, so it's day two of the healing. 
Um, it's a little bit red because I just washed it in the shower. Um, and then put some moisturizer on. I haven't put any moisturizer on since I got it done because I was too scared that it was still too raw. But um, it's been healing really well and it's not anywhere near as as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna take way longer to heal. Um, but it is really irritated in here. Um, right in those cracks it's really red and still like there's quite like a bit of like scabbing I suppose but I'm kind of worried about this because this circle here is completely smooth there's no bump so I don't know if that's gonna go away or not but those ones are all raised and I'm a little bit worried about this one here that's the kind of thing that it's supposed to be getting rid of it's supposed to be getting rid of things like that scars in my skin so I don't know but we'll see tomorrow all the dead skin is starting to come off now so gotta start exfoliating all of that off but yeah so far so good just a quick check-in today um, it's day three of the healing and um, I don't know if you can see but there's a bit of discoloration around here and that's because yesterday I had a whole bunch of skin all peeling off all here all here all on my nose and this one hasn't really come off like a lot but it's kind of just like a little bit of skin that flake off and same on the other side it's all peeling off so I don't know we'll see I'll exfoliate again tonight and we'll see but yeah no it looks really smooth my pores are a lot smaller so far um, in terms of my actual skin, I don't know yet because I was told that it can break out before it gets better, so we'll see. Hey guys, so it's been about just over a week now and I just wanted to do the final check-in on my skin. Um, it is definitely looking a lot better before I got the treatment done. I'm going in for a peel, an LED light and something else tomorrow just to get the rest of the dead skin off and then hopefully my skin will start to settle down after that because there are a few little pimples that have broken out which um, Marina said would definitely be normal so that's okay um, and yeah so basically I am really really happy with the treatment that I did and decided to get and I definitely want to go back again in the future to get another one and see how that goes and see um, if we can improve upon it even more. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments or send me a message on Instagram and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure that you let me know if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some suggestions of what other treatments I should get done and videos that I can film and put them down in the comments so that I can do them for you. See you guys.